Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, and today on this week's pop review, I'm going to be reviewing the Pop Heroes number 67, the Phantom vinyl figure. This is the original, not a repaint, not a special edition. This is the original Phantom, the purple suit. So stay tuned. So, hey guys, welcome to Come Again. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. As I said, today I'm going to be reviewing the Pop Heroes 67, the Phantom vinyl figure. And once again, this is the original. This is the main Phantom. You got the purple outfit with the violet and black trunks. Not a repaint, not a special edition. This is the original. As you can see here, you got them peeking up from the bottom. On the back, you got the Phantom. You got the bad mark and the good mark. The Phantom, the logo. Icon collectibles. Then there he is on the side. Now let's go ahead and open the box up and take a look inside. <clears throat> Okay, so first things first, the clamshell does not snap together. Some of them do, some of them don't. But here he is, the Phantom. And I was a little surprised in this figure. I really like the Phantom. I've been a big fan ever since Phantom 2040. If you guys remember that TV, sh that cartoon back in the day on Fox Kids. Um, and of course the Billy Zane movie. But you got quite a bit of paint bleeding here on the uh, widow's peak of the uh, hood or of the cowl. Got some paint bleeding there on the mask. Um, kind of a sloppy paint job on the head. Um, you got some scuff marks there. And unlike some of the other pops, he does have a very squishy style head um, I think he's probably one of the earlier pops um, very generic uh, head mold um, I'm kind of disappointed in it because a lot of the others I've seen are I have our a little bit harder plastic. This is, you can tell it's hollow. Here, let's hold it up to the microphone. Um, other than that, not bad. Um, you got his skull belt. You got the violet and black striped trunks you got his guns on his belt which as mentioned in sci-fi's the phantom miniseries um the phantom never shoots to kill the phantom only shoots in to disarm so and here you have some nice detail on his rings you got the good mark on his left hand which is the ring he gives to his allies that shows that they're protected by the phantom Let's see if I can get a closer look in on that it's four connecting P's into a, the shape of a cross and on his left hand, the hand he uses, or on his right hand, I'm sorry, 
the hand he uses to punch with, the hand he uses to mark his victims, the bad ring, the skull ring. This is the ring that he brands his victims with. Nice detail. Did a pretty good job. Uh, the paint is does kind of bleed off onto the rings. Uh, if I can get this to lock onto it. So yeah, the paint does bleed off, but very nice sculpture. They got the details perfectly, which is pretty pretty unusual for toys or collectibles because it's very hard to sculpt such little details uh, with Green Lantern figures uh, they just kind of do a green a plain green ring they don't ever carve out the actual lantern in it but as you can see it's carved it's sculpted perfectly See, I don't know how well you guys can see that. There we go. There. Very nice. The skull. The skull on his belt. Straight purple on the back with the violet and black stripes, black boots, white eyes, and black mask. Very nice figure. This was one of my grails. This I've I've been wanting the Phantom since before I started collecting pops. <clears throat> uh, I ordered him off of Amazon. <clears throat> Very nice. I'm gonna get the other four uh, Phantom, uh, th other three or four Phantoms. Uh, you've got the the red paint job Phantom. You've got the blue paint job Phantom, and you've got the. Uh, newspaper strip phantom the black and white um and i'm i'm not sure i don't i don't know if they've made others or not i could be wrong um but yeah i want to get them all i really wish funko pop would create the shadow as a pop vinyl uh, i think that would be really cool maybe even the green hornet and kato um Let's see, they've got Flash Gordon. They need to do Mandrake the Magician. Um, maybe the Black Bat, Zorro, uh, Spider. Uh, get all those Dynamite characters in there. Um, all the old pulp heroes in there. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. It'd be nice to have them all displayed side by side. Um... I think maybe one of my next pops I order will be uh, possibly Flash Gordon from the King sorry, from the King's Features, uh, created by Lee Falk, um, just like the Phantom, just like Mandrake the Magician. Which, for Mandrake the Magician, all they would really need to do is take a tux tuxedo mask figure. Uh, remove the uh, rose from his hand and remove the mask give him a mustache and that would pretty much be Mandrake the Magician uh, maybe a little slightly different paint but yeah I mean that would that would be Mandrake the Magician um, for the shadow the shadow might be a little bit more difficult to do um, you would really have to, uh, custom make it, um, because he's got the hat, he's got the cloak, the, the coat, the cape, the, uh, the scarf around his face, um, and you'd have to do the nose perfectly because that's one of his iconic features. Uh, to show the silhouette, the nose always sticks out. <clears throat> so I can understand why they haven't done him yet. They ha probably haven't figured out how to turn him into a Funko Pop. Uh, but still, they need to work on that. I really want to see the Shadow as a Pop Vinyl. Uh, so there you have it, guys. This week's Pop Review. 
Once again, I'm Shannon. We release pop reviews every Tuesdays at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time. So you have all day to watch them. And they're already added to a playlist so you can go back and watch all of our pop reviews. Um, I film multiple reviews at one time. Uh, previously, I just reviewed the uh, Lightning Pop Vinyl from Big Trouble in Little China. Uh, this review will probably be published July, maybe August. That's how far ahead I am on reviews. Uh, every time I get new pops, I do a review. I record, I film it, I upload it, and schedule it for publication, and it gets published on one of the pre-selected Tuesdays. So I think right now I'm up to about August. Um, so yeah. Um, like I said, guys, this was the Pop Heroes, the Phantom, number 67, vinyl figure. Take care. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.